So um, saying insurance doesn't have the right recognition, I think it's um, coming from a lot deep-seated prejudice. You know, what our fathers, uh, you know, told us about insurance. Insurance, you know, is just out there to deceive you. So it, this is pretty much has been something that has evolved over time and has become uh, a truth. But as you heard at the panel today, uh, those were some 10, 15 years ago when insurance do pay claims. Insurance pays claims today, right? Uh, I think the major issue around the right level of recognition uh, is basically that a lot of people don't see insurance at work, right? Um, one, one thing I like comparing this with that when you go to church and so you can see miracle at work, so you know you have the motivation to go back the next you know Sunday. But um, not a lot of people see that when there is an accident, insurance is paid, and those who just collect it just kind of just collect it and just go. But when the claim is not paid, then you see people uh, who are talking about it. So it just looks like you know um, there is just much of you know, noise about what is not working and what is working. But if you look at the books of insurance company, you will find out that they pay claims and it is human beings who get those claims. So we believe very much that with increased level of awareness and education about insurance, then it will have the right level of recognition. Finally, the basic issue is that people, by the time people even understand that, you know, insurance is that baseline. You know, I, I use most of the time, I use football as an example. Insurance is that last man standing. You know, when you go through the attack, you come through the midfield, the center back then, that last man standing, that's your insurance. And you could confide that to your savings, your investment. So if you do it very well, you find out that insurance is pretty much that last man standing that uh, when everything goes wrong, it can kick in. So for us at Axel and Sad, um, the things that we are doing to, we are doing a lot to you know, address the uh, challenges. Uh, we believe very strongly that the major issue that the insurance strong, uh, company needs, or com uh, sorry, industry rather, is facing today is that issue of trust. Now people talk about awareness, people talk about education, and they talk about trust, right? The, but the biggest part of that pie is actually the conversation around trust. Why do we say so? Or why do I say so rather? Um, if you are interested in something, you are likely to educate yourself about it. So when people say insurance education is a problem, yes, it might be, but I don't think it's the fundamental thing because when there is an interest, you kind of pursue that if you want to buy a car today, Right, you pretty much go and you know look at the all the you know facilities and the features and so on and so forth. But how many people do you want to buy insurance for me to even say I want to go and study insurance? So if we can address that fundamental issue of trust in insurance, that insurance pay more people see insurance in action, then education will be easier because it is not lack of education that we are dealing with. Right? There is education. If you Google insurance today, you will see thousands, Google will throw you know thousands of responses to you. So what, what are we talking about? So it's just for people to appreciate and believe that insurance is a part of their, or should be part of their financial you know, portfolio. I think that is what it's going to take you know, us to the next level. And for us at Action Answer, that is the focus for us, focusing on addressing the issue of trust so that people can buy themselves, go look for information about insurance. So fundamentally, that comes to the conversation around education, right? And you can take people to where they want to go by showing them that you're on that journey with them, right? So uh, the conversation we are talking about to oh, insurance is for the rich is because the rich know about it, right? They are educated, they are sophisticated, so it's easier for you to take them on that journey. So first, we address that issue with also the lower income, you know, class and say, you know what, this is how your financial portfolio comes together, savings, investment. This savings that you are you know, counting on, hoping that if I put my money in savings account, I can get it back. Something, one single event can happen and it will wipe off that you know, saving. But if you have 10,000 Naira your account, you buy you know, a malaria drug, sorry, malaria insurance of 400 Naira, right? You have 9,600 Naira you know, left. But if you have a malaria issue, you go to you know, the hospital, you get good medication, all right, you are not buying fake medication. You are diagnosed before you are treated and you can have access to doctor. You have 9,600 Naira. But if you don't have insurance, 400 Naira insurance, walk into a pharmacy, the least you know, uh, medication you could buy today is between 4,000 and 5,000 Naira. That's almost 50% of your savings gone. So the bottom line is that we need to help people see that insurance is not you know, a cost to them. It's actually part of that investment, you know, or their financial
portfolio and how do we do that? So for us at Axiomas, we are looking at what people do and using it to take them insurance. So for example, people play you know, games, all right? How can we use you know, games, this same game that you play to, to teach you how insurance? So we are not taking you on a journey of what you don't understand. So that we are building that association with what you are already used to.